Hello, uh, YouTube. This is Hemingray1893 saying, If you think fish tape can be acquired at Bass Pro Shops, do not watch this video. In fact, never watch a video on my channel ever again. Anyway, this is uh, going out to all you uh, school-age viewers out there. I apologize for my finger. Um, how to decorate your notebooks. And trust me, they're going to look really awesome at the end of the year. So first off, um, I'm just going to jump right into it. You want to pick a notebook that's either brown or black. Uh, last school year I went to Walmart and uh, all they had was brown. And uh, for some reason, all they had this year was black, so I'm going to have to go with black. Um, pick a notebook with a plastic cover, like for example a Mead 5 Star. Those work really well. Anyway, um, then you're going to have to take your vintage M. Klein & Sons duckbill needle nose pliers and you're going to have to pry the spiral off but do not cut the spiral with tin snips as you will need it to put the cover back on. Alright, now since I'm, you know, I have a black notebook I'm going to have to acquire th or put on three nice thick coats of brown spray paint or a really thick brown paint. Why brown? You'll see that in a little bit. But for now, I gotta take the cover off and move this out to the garage. Okay, and this is it after about three nice good coats. Um, what I'm basically gonna do is I'm going to end up drawing a logo on it. Um, you know, just pick, pick something that'll age well, you know, uh, Old gas and oil logos work well, old car company logos, old tractor company logos, you know, old railroad logos, things like that age well, you know. So just um, draw something on here that'll age well. Graffiti? Um, most schools frown upon graffiti, so I wouldn't recommend doing that, and now I can't get in trouble because I just told you that. And uh, also, I don't know if you can get sued for any of this, so, you know, just don't go selling it, you know. Even if the company is long gone, I'm pretty sure there's someone out there with the rights to the name and logo and that, so don't sell them, and now I can't get in trouble for telling you that. But anyway, next is going to be my base coat. I'm only going to apply one coat of that, just enough to cover it, and for uh, mine, my base coat is going to be white. Okay, now that my base coat is applied, which is white, I'm going to be spray painting the red part of this uh, Amico logo. As you can see, uh, I kind of made a stencil. I cut the top part out. If you can freehand it and then uh, paint it like with acrylic paint, go right ahead, but I prefer to use a stencil just since I'm spray painting it. Okay, here it is after... Um, I applied the other paint and I also wrote standard in there with Sharpie. Now I'm just going to put it back on the spiral. It's now on the spiral. Regular notebook. Um, and it looks nice. I could have done a little bit better. I will admit that I'm not the greatest artist. What just happened there? Okay. Now. Um, I drew some old railroad logos on my notebooks uh, two years ago. And I noticed that over the course of the year, something happened to those. Slowly but surely, something happened. They started to wear down. The paint started to get chipped, started to get scratched, and... Why do you think I, I had you put brown under the paint? Bam! Over the course of the school year, your notebook will rust. I think that just looks amazing. And it's just so unique, you know. 
All right, uh, I'm going to be honest with some of the stuff here. Most of those large scratches were done by, or at least started by me, just picking at the paint. Um, but as you can see, I did them in kind of lines so they look more realistic. Also, um, around February, I went over the cover with a light sandpaper, like 200 grit, and uh, really gently just to thin the paint. And around March, I made a wash with one part brown paint to ten parts water and painted the cover with it, just to give it that extra little look of patina. So it's not all natural, but I mean, look at this. You can do this every school year and have something completely different in the end. I mean, th this is just incredible. This has been Hemingway 1893, and good luck with your notebooks, Rosturation.